Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful Christmas music. Right, welcome everybody and welcome to Asda Hall. Um, there we're on today, so it'll be 20, no it won't, it'll be 17th, won't it? 17th of December, so right. So we've done a bit of um, all kinds of shopping today. We've um, bought stuff for tonight's tea, got a few scoops in, I'm ready for a drink after having to work today to... Uh, to get me Christmas bonus, otherwise I wouldn't have got it, but I've got it, so that's decent. So we'll start off with, this here isn't a pint of Thatcher's, that is a bottle, in a bottle of Chaplin and Cork's Vintage Cider. Oh, that's nice. I'm ready for that. It's been a long old day. Right, um... Right, well, let's just start from the beginning and work our way through it. So I've got a little decoration for tree. It's that time of year now where they're knocking stuff out for 50 pence. So I've got that store there with little pom-poms on there for 50p. So um, I was a bit of a superstar for finding that for 50p. Uh, Tien got herself um, a festive dinosaur glass because she is festive and, and, you know, she does like dinosaurs. Hence the iPhone, what she still uses. So I'll just pop that. I'll just put them the, the, them two together there. So we we all like a festive bake from um, Greg's, don't we? So I thought I'd try two delish festive slices: tender British chicken in a creamy sauce, wrapped in golden puff pastry, topped with a beetroot and parsley sprinkle. Oh, no, that's not very festive, is it? To be fair, no. So there's no turkey on it. There's no cranberry on it there's yeah i should have looked i should have read that really before I... yep yeah, i should have read that before i bought them never mind we'll get them any we'll have them anyway so little mini ash browns they're they're fantastic then cook if you can have a cooked breakfast in the morning which team has got work tomorrow so i'll make her a, a, a bacon and sausage sandwich um for for, for a breakfast because it's Sunday and chuck a few of their mashed brown bites and they're really nice then. Uh, what else have we got there? No shallot jokes today. Um, just crunchy and fragrant onions. Brown onions in fact. Onions of colour. So we'll pop them up there. Onions, yeah. Um, some spuds. Some little spuds. I'm going to have them with my tea tonight. I'm having, um, yeah, I'm having them with my tea tonight. So they're just British baby potatoes. They're only baby. They, they come with little baby nappies for them as well. Uh, that's a rubbish joke, weren't it? So this is what I'm going to have for my tea tonight. Uh, tikka, chicken breast steak. So normally you'd whack them in a curry or something like that or have some rice cream, but I'm going to have spuds with them. And I'm having with them because I'm feeling festive. Brussels sprouts. He had a lover sprout. He ate a sprout. Tea and do you love her hate a sprout? She tea and ate a sprout. Quick um, quick story, a couple few years ago, we had Christmas dinner around at my mum's house and tea was like all geared up for eating Sprout. You know when you get yourself so motivated and go, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this. She stuck it in her mouth and she absolutely gicked and she nearly absolutely threw a Christmas dinner up. Uh, I've never laughed so much. And I'm putting that down as one of my favourite Christmases ever, watching tea and eat a Sprout. So I'll probably sprout a few more jokes as the uh, video goes along. There's a bottle of Diet Lemonade. There you go, diet lemonade. It's a bit more Christmas music in background there. Bottle of milk, some semi-skilled milk there. Um, some go noodles. These are Coley go noodles and they're extreme hot and spicy flavoured noodles. They're nice thrown on a bun. If you have a bun or a bomb cake as you want, hot and spicy noodles on a bomb cake because believe me, they make you go, if you know what I mean. So that's that. Pub quiz. So when I go I'm going to my sister's for Christmas dinner next week, so we'll have a bit of a pub quiz. What I'll do, I'll um, I'll steam open the seal, um, have a quick blink through cards, see what I know, see what I don't know, and do a bit of revision. So I'll smash that one. I'll smash that one out of the park, as they say. Um, some creamy and spicy jalapeno um, cheddar cheese there. But I looked at cheese boards now. Cranberry cheese? Who eats cranberry cheese? Man, that's just gross. And other than that, you get things in like brie, still, and still, and I quite like, but I can only eat a very small amount of it and I'm bored of it. Um, cheddar and like Red Leicester and stuff like that. So instead of getting cheese bored, I thought I'd just opt for cheese, what we're going to eat. So cheddar and creamy and spicy 
jalapeno uh, cheese. I've got some, there it is, over on the other side here. Uh, French Brie, Just Essentials by Asda. Um, it's brie, isn't it? So it's gonna be peeled out of its waxy skin and thrown on a couple of um, whole wheat crackers and um, I'll eat them, so I like brie. Um, pickled red cabbage because it's um, it's good. I like pickled red cabbage. It's nice with just we just with everything really. You can just have it on anything. Pickled red cabbage. Now you Southerners probably haven't heard of pickled red cabbage because you, you just haven't lived, have you? Um, tomato and garlic sauce for, for some pasta. What we've got in the fridge. What we haven't had yet. Uh, some Thatcher's gold for me because I'll, I'll need that tonight after today. Um, bottle of brew dog seven day vodka um i don't know brew dog vodka it's seven day vodka and it's raspberry and lime um i found a box at work today what were ripped open it had tons of this stuff in it, it had brew dog beer and it had loads of different vodkas in it but i'm not going to go into the nature of my job because there's the video for it so that's that um a couple of little packets of rice there because for tea and tea tonight she's having she's having wraps so um there's the wraps, Mission Bell wraps. I was going to save these Mission Bells for the end, but no, I've, I've put the Mission Bells before the end, so this is, might be a joke there somewhere. Um, four cheer batter rolls there, because the bread was a bit scarce at uh, Asda when we went in. I couldn't even find a white loaf. So I thought, well, I can't find a white loaf and I need some bread. I thought, I'll have to use my loaf here. Uh, but I wasn't ready for what I found, but I did find some um, seven seeds. So I will be sailing the seven seeds of rye as um, Freddie Mercury and his great band Queen once sung about the seven seeds of rye. And that was exactly the uh, loaf they were singing about. Uh, right. Some rice noodles. A, a waste of time for, for me, rice noodles, but tea and lights and so those are rice noodles. Tomorrow I'm doing a chicken dinner, so well, raw chicken dinner if you want. So there's my chicken. Now it's got a bit of a Christmasy vibe to it. I'm just shift this uh, tea batter over over to the side there. Right, so it's a roasting the bag chicken. So as you do, I think you just pop a hole in it or something, and then just bung it over and leave it for a couple of hours or whatever. But it's pork, sage, and onion stuffed at large chicken. I like sage and onion. So that'll be nice. And there's some white peas to go with it, some Yorkshire puds. I could have made me own. I could have done this, I could have done that, but I wouldn't have got a result like that. And there's a serving suggestion for him. It looks like a pair of boggly eyes, doesn't it? I should have doctored that, shouldn't it? It's got two little two little brown eyes and a little like roast beef mouth underneath it. So <laughs> looks like a throne kebab. Right, anyway. Yeah, there's some a uh, couple of Asda's ready meals there. So you've got macaroni cheese. Tina will eat these when she's off work during week. Macaroni cheese and a chili con carne with rice. Um, that right, that chili con carne is very nice. Macaroni cheese, it, homemade macaroni cheese is better than any other bloody rubbish. But yeah, so you like that macaroni cheese. Right, there's a couple of um, chapatis there because it just makes a change when norm bread, doesn't it? Uh, in fact, I don't think they had none in the shop. So that's why I've got chapati. So I don't know what it is with bread there. There must be a shortage of wheat or something. Anyway, so there's some green pesto micro pasta. It must be very, very small if it's only micro pasta. Look, and there's some avocado on top. I'm not buying avocados. Um, napkins. So me and team next week, we're going to have our own, because we're going to my sister's for Christmas dinner, but we're going to have our own little Christmas dinner the day after on Boxing Day. So I bought a little tablecloth to go on our table. Um, and there's some napkins. We've got some crappers. They're already sat on the tree. Um, a couple of tacky plastic plates there to, um, you know, when you put your little snack hats on and things like that. So that'll be for that. Uh, there's some uh, Arbisto for chicken gravy granules. So everyone likes chicken. Uh, we're I'll tell you what else we're doing as well. We're making our own pigs in blankets as well. So what I've done, I bought a... I bought a, a pork leg off a guy down local boozy. He, 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 I don't know where he got this pig from, but he, he chops it up anyway. So I bought a pork shoulder and I bought a pork leg and I've um, I've cut it down and I've I've, I've bought some um, some sheaths to, for the uh, pork to go into. And we're going to make our own pigs in blankets. So 
I haven't really. Bought some classic pork cocktail sausages there, which are like raw, proper raw sausages, not the cocktail sausage sausages. Um, and some streaky smoked bacon there. So um, I might do a streaking video after this actually, but uh, you know, that's not for the fair talk kid. I'll tell you. Um, firecracker, oh, it's tea. Tea, which chicken you having for tea? Hey, tea. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. No, I'm having firecracker. Teen's having the tikka one, right. Um, chicken's eggs. Now, it makes you wonder if that was the chicken, what laid the egg, and which did come first? Was it the chicken or was it the egg? I'll leave you with that thought. There's a pot noodle for tea and goes back to work, she's taking that. Um, some skipjack tuna chunks in spring water for the cat, because the cat's going to get a treat because it's Christmas. Um, a tub of Christmas lure pack, because Christmas deserves lure pack. Um, how much for that lure pack tea? It was only four quid, weren't it? Uh, yeah, four quid, so and it's a decent sized tub as well. So that's cheap for lure pack, so yeah, I was going to bulk buy it, knock it out on Marketplace for a five or a pop. Um, there's a Terry's chocolate orange that's going to go in teens Christmas stocking I mean when I was a kid it used to be tangerines and apples and pieces of coal and dead rats and stuff like that because that's how we roll up here uh, and it's amazing the fun you can have with a dead rat and a piece of string but these days it's all interweb and iPods and Terry's chocolate oranges and Game Boys and all that lot you know what I'm saying yeah <laughs> so yeah uh, so that's a Terry's chocolate orange. You tap it, tap it, and unwrap it, apparently. Um, there's some Starbucks TYP. I don't know what the TYP means. Toffing up latte. And it's rich and buttery. Serving's going out. Yeah, obviously, serving suggestion. Pour it in a cup, obviously. You're going to do pour it in your head. There's uh, some Cadbury's roses. I think when God were giving out noses, I thought he said roses. And I said, yeah, God, chuck us a big red one over here. Leave that where it is. And a new game for the Switch as well, Nintendo Switch Sports. Um, because it's because it's cold outside and it's snowy on ground and it's wet and it's windy and it's winter and it's cold and it's dark and stuff like that. Apart from going to work, because partake in any sports so what do you do bring the sports to us so nintendo wii sports so we're gonna have a dabble on that a bit later so crack crack on with tea we'll have with tea um and i'll put this away first actually one oh that's some chicken madras sauce there as well forgot about that patak's original madras cooking sauce very nice and the other week when i made my own curry sauce it was really really nice and everything but the amount of effort what went into it for it just to taste like something I can get out of a jar, it's... I won't do it again, to be honest, you know. Um, so I think, guys, that'll do us for tonight. Uh, got any more bell jokes? Better not. Might be children watching. Um, well, I'd say that's shallot. But it's brown onions, so it's a bit of a... Yeah, I think that'll do us, won't it? Right. There's a couple of um, little additions as well when I was walking around Asda. Mate, honestly, some of the stuff they have in Asda is unreal. Right, I'll leave you a bit of Christmas music. Hopefully, oh, I don't get a copyright strike. Bit of funky piano music, bit of jazz. It's nice, actually. Santa baby, be do, be do, be do, be do, do. Right, I'm going. See you again, guys. Bye.